hey, Mr. Buyer or Seller, you don't know me and I don't know you, but will you buy or sell a property so that I can make some money? That's how you come across when with a lot of these mainstream scripts and strategies and all that stuff. It's all garbage, guys. Like all any any script that you paid for, crumble it up and throw it away. I built my business on circle prospecting, which is picking out a subdivision, calling every owner, and just building a friendship with them. Because at the end of the day, when you talk to a buyer or seller after the closing and you ask them how they picked the real estate agent, the most common answer is going to be, I had a friend in the business. That's the one I hear the most, right? When I, when I, I mean, and I talk to agents all over the country, all over the world. That's the most common answer. So what does that tell us? We need to be the agent that's creating the most friends in the market, right? And what does that come to? down to building a database. And what is a database? It's two words, it's database, okay? Let's go with the data part of it. Why do you think, you know, these huge corporations are buying up these companies? You know, why does KW make you put everything in command? And, you know, Remax bought Booz and Zillow bought Showing Time and Dot Loop, right? There's a lot, there's a big part of it that's data, right? Data is, is I mean, it's gold. Data is the new gold. You all need to think about your individual businesses as a huge corporation in, in today's world. And you need to collect data. Use social media to collect data. Make phone calls to collect data. When you combine, you know, making call sessions with having social media sessions, let's just call it where you're really grinding on social media for a while when you combine both because a lot of agents are just doing one or the other they're just doing phone calls or they're just doing social media but when you when you time block for both of those activities you become a very dangerous agent because now you because no no deal is going to happen without a conversation if you meet them on social media if you buy a Zillow lead you know whatever there's never going to be a deal without a conversation and if you can get really good at the communication part of this business verbal communication in terms of making people feel comfortable with you, communicating who you are, that you care about them and you're the hardest worker, learning why they want to do what they're trying to do, using that to create a game plan around their situation. Not just like every other agent that's just there to just try to do a deal, but actually listen to why they're trying to do what they're trying to do and help them through their situation because there's something bigger going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision to buy or sell. Trying to get like what you were just saying where they have a game plan, they want to, they have their motivation and trying to just get them to trust you to say why, where, when, how it's, I've been working with someone that, you know, some people are just really protective of their plans and they don't, if you don't know them from a referral, they're a lead that you've gotten. I'm just trying to get them to commit to more time with me. Let's have a Zoom call. Let's, cause I, I do have some luck, but then there's times where it's just trying to build that trust with them how to do that better. So you're saying like how to get them to open up to you basically? Yes. I think basically it all comes down from like the way that you make people feel comfortable with you is by being comfortable with them. Like when you're comfortable with them, they feel that vibe. They start to just automatically feel comfortable with you if you're comfortable with them. And I think one thing that might be happening, cause I, I hear it in your voice and I also hear it when you say Zoom call, I feel like you might be trying to force things that aren't quite, we aren't quite there yet on stuff. It's like, you can just talk on the phone. You don't have to do a Zoom call. You know what I mean? Like, what's the difference kind of thing? You know, like there's a time and place for it, but I think you should be careful with trying to force things like force appointments and force Zoom calls and this and that. Just talk to them like they're your mom or dad. That's the secret to it. Pretend like who you're calling is your mom, dad, brother, cousin. You know, think about how you would talk to this person if they were your mom or your dad. You know, like really sit down and think about it for a second. Exactly what you would say, the tone you would have, the whole nine yards, how comfortable you are with them. Like you would tell your parents anything, they would tell you anything. You know, it's like you're really open to each other. See that, see. It's the tone, really, Jody, that creates that comfortableness that allows them to open up like they're your parents. If you talk to them like they're your parents and they feel like you're open with them, then they're gonna start opening to you. And it comes from experience, just doing it a lot. Like the more you do, I feel like you probably haven't done it a lot enough and put yourself in enough of these situations. The more of these situations you put yourself in, sure, you may goof up a hundred of them, but look at the experience you gained doing it. And like I say, 
business is unlimited. You, you can't talk to every single person in your market ever. So every person you talk to, think of it as practice. You're just practicing learning how to communicate, learning how to talk, learning how to, to help people feel comfortable with uh, enough with you to open up to you. You know, I think experience is what it comes down to and not trying to force things. When you start trying to force things that aren't there yet, trying to get them to come on a Zoom call, maybe they don't like cameras and stuff, you know, like when you when you start trying to force yeah, things. I think that's a big part of it because these are leads that we're buying and I've never bought leads. I'm always used to just walking into a referral and being like confident and they know someone that knew me. Look, look, here, here's the thing man. what, you know, these leads that you're buying, number one, just quit buying leads, right? That'd be the first thing. Just quit buying leads. That's ridiculous. But number two, it's okay to buy leads. If that's your thing, you can build your business that way. You buy enough leads and build you how you, you use that to build your database. I just don't think it's the most efficient way, but let's just say that's your thing and that's what you feel good about buying the leads and all that we're going to call these leads we're going to say hey you know i don't know where you bought them from or whatever but it's like hey i'm jody at whatever real estate momentum how you doing you know i'm enjoying the days in a gorgeous outside cool look i don't want to take up too much of your time but i saw you looking at properties online on my website or whatever this here this i don't know where you got the lead you know i'm just calling to see if there's something i could do to help you and then let them talk you know, let them talk. Is there something I could do to help you? You know, cool. What's going on? You know, is there a reason you were looking? Are you just looking? Are you thinking, well, you know, what's, what's your situation and how can I help you? It always comes from what can I do to help you? A lot of this training and coaching out there is all focused around trying to figure out what the client can do for the agent. They're literally trying to, you know, everything's focused around forcing something to get something done so that we get a deal to where we make money. And it's like, hey, Mr. Buyer or Seller, you don't know me and I don't know you, but will you buy or sell a property so that I can make some money? That's how you come across when with a lot of these mainstream scripts and strategies and all that stuff. It's all garbage, guys. Like all any any script that you paid for, crumble it up and throw it away. Because 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 think about it, those coaches high pressured you into buying their program just to turn around and teach you how to high pressure your clients to buy and sell property from you using the same strategies. You know, think about the strategy that they got you to buy their program. Is that the, that's the, that's what strategy they're going to teach you to use on your clients? You know, that's not that's not what we want because it's really turning clients off, especially nowadays in today's world. People see all this commission breath stuff a mile away. You got to come at them very genuine nowadays, more so than ever. And there's a huge shift too towards relationships and voice to voice because when digital first came on the scene. A lot of buyers started picking their agents online, but nowadays they use online to find the properties, but then they're calling their agent that they've built a relationship with to actually help them with the transaction because people are starting to get burned just picking random agents online. And we've went through a huge cycle of this. The market's leaning back really hard towards customers wanting a real relationship with somebody they feel comfortable with that they think is really going to, you know, uh, have their best interest, make the transaction smooth really work hard right listen to what I'm saying here guys that's what's gonna win but as far as getting people open up listen just practice more you know relax don't try to force things really listen to people really listen to what they're what they're doing so just treat them like they're family and everything will fall into place